Synglyphics provides interactive 3D data visualization technology designed to increase the user's capacity and capability to process and take action on complex data. The company's approach is informed by perceptual engineering, the optimal design of a visual environment to enable the user to more efficiently interact with and synthesize high-dimensional and complex data sets. This approach is supported by academic and government-funded research on how the mind best understands and processes complex data. Synglyphics has partnered with Precyon Analytics, a veteran-owned small business that delivers training, data integration, platform customization, and embedded analytical services with leading technology providers. Precyon's team of analysts and engineers deliver comprehensive solutions to federal and commercial clients engaged in critical defense, law enforcement, intelligence, cybersecurity, financial, investigative, and legal analytics missions. In this demo, Synglyphics and Precyon Analytics joined forces to look at Iranian vessels over a five-year period. The multi-source data reveals that Iranian ships from 2008 to 2012 used several methods to hide their identity in order to circumvent U.S. sanctions, which came into force in 2008. A 2010 U.N. Security Council resolution also requires all states to inspect cargo of ships operated by Islamic Republic of Iran Shipping Lines, or IRIZL, Iran's main shipping fleet. Data compiled by Reuters shows that Iranian ships used seven specific methods to hide their identities, including changing the name of the vessel, the country or flag under which it was registered, and ownership details. In order to visually explore this data, we created both still and animated visualizations using Synglyphics's visualization technology. To start, we represented a single ship, as you can see here, as a sphere which is colored according to how many changes occurred in that year, with the most suspicious ships colored red. Above each ship is a stack of rings, with each ring representing one year of time from 2008 to 2012. Connected to each ring are colored, cube-shaped objects that represent the seven types of changes to the ship's identities. Sometimes, Iranian ships would change one of these variables more than once in a year, which we represented by increasing the size of the cube for that year. In this first visualization, our high-dimensional representation of ships are placed in geospatial and temporal contexts. Here, you can see each ship, as time passes, accumulating change events on the stack of rings. You can also see that the non-listed ships accumulate changes, but at a much lower frequency overall. Synglyphics allows you to easily represent this high-dimensional data, geolocated on a map, with the temporal histories simultaneously displayed. In this related animation, you can see Synglyphics' ability to layer visualization with different glyphs to provide additional detail. We see a cluster of suspicious ships in the Iranian port, and zoom into the channel to obtain further detail about the ships. Here, you can see separate ships with glyphs that describe their cargo. Drilling down to see the port, you can identify individual cargo containers, which may reveal further suspicious activity. In this animation, you can see a selection of the Treasury Department listed ships laid out in a grid, with the x-axis representing the type of ship, Y showing the total number of changes, and Z showing the year in which the ship had the most change events. Analysts can easily glean from the graph that passenger ships and crew boats on the right side of the graph did not often attempt to hide their identities, whereas container or cargo type ships on the left side did so frequently. This type of display illustrates the ability of the software to quickly yield insights by displaying complex data in an intuitive, user-friendly way that the user can explore and interact with the data by navigating, using the mouse cursor to pivot, rotate, translate, and zoom in or out. This feature of the technology allows the user to explore data subsets of interest and easily identify patterns, trends, or anomalies. In this final visualization, you can see a ship named Shabgon navigating toward Hong Kong. For simplicity in this example, we only animated Shabgon and four other suspicious ships. However, animating other ships' routes is within the capability of the Synglyphics platform. We can also embed additional data within each object. In this case, we can easily pull up the latest information about Shabgon, including recent photos, its current location, and its heading. In this demonstration, we've shown that Synglyphics' powerful visualization capabilities can be applied in a variety of ways to illustrate different aspects of a real-world issue, 
and that their technology allows users to both discover and communicate key findings in complex data sets. Analysts at Prescient use Synglyphics to intuitively understand and visualize the most complex and difficult of data sets, saving time by enhancing the user's capability and capacity to process complex data, identify insight, and take action. For more information on Synglyphics and Prescient Analytics, please visit their websites.